Anyone got reading glasses, 1.5? <laughs> good, mo good morning. Good morning to the people of Guam. And, and today, uh, on behalf of uh, Majority Leader Senator Nelson, we're going to present uh, and recognize law enforcement folks uh, for, in reference to the National Police Week. But, uh, but I'd like to also tease first that I know, you, you can tell when they're police officers, you know, GPD, they sit on one side. And, and the chief here was trying to bring neutrality by sitting with the other chiefs. But that's okay. I understand that. Uh, you know, being a 19th cycle graduate from the Guam Police Department, and then knowing I see Scamby over here, Colonel uh, Scam Kurt Tyrone, correction. I used to work with the dad. The dad was a sergeant with the Guam Police Department. That's why when I look at him, I'm like, I see Phil. May God bless us all. But, you know, it's okay. And then, then, then I see the chief uh, from the port and the customs. I mean, I'm going to go down the line. We got GPD. We got the port authority. We got uh, customs. And we got, um, who do we got there? Airport. Airport. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, but, but you know what, folks? For some that don't know this, for the people of Guam, the Department of Public Safety, was, which was GPD, used to handle everybody except for customs. GPD back then was DPS, was the backbone for the port and the airport. And pretty much everywhere else, even the parks and all. And, 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 but, but the beauty is that we've grown. The government of Guam and the people of Guam have grown where they have separated this. And, and, and it's, it's all plus, because whenever I know that when DP, GPD needs help, they just call the airport, can you intercept this one? It's coming through. Boom. There's somebody coming by PD, they'll call the port, and they just work it. And then when customs find somebody that's being naughty, they'll just say, can you come and pick him up and take him downtown? And it's just done. Then that's one of the beauties. But we want to start first with, uh, I'll introduce my colleague, Senator Tony Ada, who also... Uh, all of our senators all support law enforcement. And being the budget guy, and you're all here, we have incorporated in the budget that your pay raise will happen for next year, FY23. Okay, so rest assured, for the budget purpose on our side, it's gonna be added. And if anybody says no, don't blame me or Tony. Okay, we're gonna take care of you guys. And, and we're going to go ahead and start out with, and I'll ask Tony, Senator Anna, to make, make, make a few comments, because I know he's, he knows most of you guys here. If you want, huh? yeah, sure. go for it. I give you the Just like to thank all of you guys for being here today. Uh, it's it's an, an honor and a privilege to be able to present to you uh, a, symbol, a simple token of our appreciation for all that you do, for the commitment and the dedication that you have, not just to uh, the people in our island, but to all the visitors that come through our island and, you know, keeping them safe. Um, nothing's ever perfect, but we always look at improving what we do and how we do things. Uh, I know Joe, uh, Senator San has, uh, you know, you know they, we always try to weave in how we were connected with law enforcement. And, you know, I never served in GPD, um, and, uh, but I served in the 368 military police. So we're, one way or another, we're connected. <laughs> I just want to thank you guys so very much for everything that you, you guys have done, continue to do, and will always do for our people and keeping our island safe. Like I said, nothing's ever perfect, but we continue to work on these things. And uh, a simple token of our appreciation, and we look forward to uh, next year's uh, law enforcement uh, week, and hopefully it becomes longer, you know. And uh, just like everything else in the past, it, it became tomorrow day, became tomorrow week, now it's tomorrow month. So hopefully we have a law enforcement, uh, law enforcement year one day. So thank you, Senator Sanagasin. Thank you, thank you, Tony. And, and just let um, law enforcement folks um, be informed that the chief has advised me that he's going to be looking for funding to identify the new site to, to recognize all our fallen comrades. Okay, we're going to work on that. We're going to figure out where we're going to put it. And the funding, we'll, we can figure that out. That ain't... It's never too much to spend on our fallen comrades. I mean, I believe in that. I get goosebumps when I see those folks because I know most of them. And you know what? We're going to move along with this, and we'd like to call out first. The first victim would be Steve, Chief Ignacio because he happens to be the biggest group here. As you all can see, we want to recognize the Chief, Officer the Chief, to commend you for your courageous deeds 
and, it, and it's true for all you chiefs and all you officers. Your courageous deeds and your dedicated service to our island and further commend you during the observance of National Police Week for your inev inevitable, inevitable and enduring reputation for pre preserving the rights and security of the people of Guam. The Committee of Rules, I mean, I trend to size that has the here, herein directs that the official expression of its recognition and accommodation be forthright sent on behalf of the Elestatu and Guam and on the people of Guam. Sign and seal in the city of Hagan. Chief, thank you. I'll be calling everybody else up. Is, is, is um, Police Lieutenant uh, Ste Stephen Amaguin? Hey. Not, not yet. <laughs> I'm going to be calling out the names, and uh, Senator Ada will be the one passing it out. Okay. Jason, Police Lieutenant Jason Ogun. Pura Lieutenant, I guess we'll get to the captains later. Michael Ar Archangel, <laughs> sir. <laughs> you know, we're gonna figure out a way how we're gonna make this flow a little bit better, but, but you know what, he's from Highway Patrol, so I know he knows how to keep it flowing. <laughs> they do a good job. Police Lieutenant Anthony Ariola. <laughs> Sir. See, see, he, he figured it out. He's from, <laughs> he's from CIB. I was in Delta back then during my younger days. We have uh, da police, oh, we got police captain Darren Caldwell. <laughs> We got Police Captain Joseph Carbolito. Don't follow the group on that side. We got Joseph Carbolito. He's the guy that every now and then says, make sure you provide us the funding. I said, don't worry about it. As long as the chief asks. If he doesn't ask, I blame it on the chief. We got Cristobal Castro. Chris. And like Chris, I remembered your dad. We were in the, we were in the, he was in the department when I was there. Police Lieutenant James Cruz. <laughs> Trust forensic. He's like, a, he's like Chief Izaki. He's one of those kind of guys. My fellow biker. Lieutenant Donald Flickinger. <laughs> the Bali Raider, Pacific Flickinger. <laughs> Police Lieutenant Arthur Polino. Here's another one I can tease, because she was a student of my father. Captain Kim Santos. And she used to hang around at my cousin's house next door to my parents. And I always wonder, what are you doing there? No secrets, sir. No secrets, right? Thank you. We got Captain Paul Sayama. Trust Highway, look it. Is, is this zonal rules? No. Sure. Oh. <laughs> Sir. You know Jacob. it. Congratulations. Hi, Police Sergeant 2. Sang. Come on up, Sang 2. I'm not going to tell you a secret about me and him. I'll just leave it alone because uh, 
Some people may not take it kindly. Sir. <laughs> Police Captain Scott Wade. I'm not going to talk about him either because I used to inspect his club. <laughs> Remember, I, I was a compliance supervisor for Revenue and Tax. I think that covers GPD. That covered. I'm going to look at the staff of Senator Nelson. Did that cover everybody in, police, in the police department? Are we good? We're good? Okay. That will complete. Uh, and we'll get a quick picture, and then we'll, we'll jump into... Port will be next. Okay, so we get a quick picture. Chief, get Tado, Tado Chief. There you go, sir. Is he retired? No. And for the people of Guam, please be aware that uh, don't use your, your cell phone. And I say that through experience because I have to admit, I was pulled over by Guam police. And it was when I was hooking up the Bluetooth. And they said, Senator, I said, ah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was just hooking it up. But I, asked, I, I put out the, the warning order. The Guam Police Department is watching out for the safety of all. So if you can and you need to use your cell phone, pull over because Guam Highway Patrol is watching you. Pull over, turn on your Bluetooth or go speaker and don't touch it. Leave it in your car and keep talking and keep driving. The eyes of the, of, of, of the Guam Police Department is, is sharp, trust me. Now moving along, uh, we'll bring up the port, port chief. Port Chief, uh, Police Port Chief, Jesse Mendiola, sir. Don't go anywhere. We have Assistant Port Chief, Victor Camacho, sir. We have uh, Assistant Port Chief, uh, uh, Rosanna Castro, ma'am. <laughs> it's nice to see the females moving up the rank. You, you got the hint, right, Chief? Yes. Let's do a photo real quick. Come, come on. Bring front balance. Uh -huh. Do you black? There you go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Now we're going to move to the uh, airport. Chief Vince, Vincent Napati. Hola. And he's former court guy, so I know this guy. Thank you, sir. <laughs> we have Lieutenant Raymond Regis. Sir, is he here? Raymond Regis. He's not here. Okay. He's supposed to be uh, our assistant chief. Oh, okay. Your assistant. How about uh, Fidel Masga? Where you at? Hey. Before he became the chief, he was the one you worry about when you go to the airport because you're gonna you're gonna get caught on the on a traffic violation, guaranteed. And we have uh, Assistant Chief Ken Kenneth Kenga, sir.
from Customs and Quarantine, Chief Vincent Paris. Sir. Hey, Colonel, <laughs> Assistant Chief of Customs, Phil Tyrone. <laughs> we got uh, Custom and Quarantine Officer Joseph Cruz. He's here. I agree. Colonel. Colonel. Oh, sir, come on up. Is that on him? Uh, this is, this is we have two. Okay. We'll get it fixed. Come on over, Colonel. Everybody? Well, well, maybe we'll get the, uh, the well, minimum blue on the top. We'll have to do like yeah. side. Yeah. Make your buddy a little uh, yeah. uncomfortable. Chief, yeah. Control, Chief please. Chief. Everyone, come on, even the director. You know, you know, not to miss out on Ike, the director of customs. He's a former customs guy, but uh, Ike's still good because he's he's the guy that has to fight for for Chief Paris to get his funds. So that there's it works perfectly with Ike, and Ike never worries about it. And I, I guess I'm going to see him this afternoon on his budget, and we'll take care of them then. All right, so there won't be an issue. I still have to go to the airport. And you know, just a, a final note, on behalf of Senator Nelson, she thanks you all for your dedication and commitment to serving the people of Guam. Thank you all. Take care. Be safe. <laughs>